Hello everyone, it's Small Hitchug. Uh, today we're doing Twitch sub badges or emotes with a transparent background. And we'll be using Inkscape, which is a free vector drawing program. And I've posted a link down below. Okay, okay, so I have Inkscape open. It is a free software for vector drawing. I've also got a baby penguin picture for reference. I'm gonna put it on my other monitor so it's out of the way. But let's get started. So I'll draw, I'll kind of map out um, kind of what I want this penguin to look like. I kind of just want the head. So we grab this tool, it's called the Draw Bezier Curves and Straight Lines. The hotkey is Shift F6. Just click once and let go. Drag it up top. If you want it to be curved, click hold down, then drag. If you want it to snap, you can always hold down the control key, like so. It doesn't have to be perfect right now because we can always go back and fix it. All right. So that's kind of how it's been. Maybe I want the whole body. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, reminder that emotes and sub badges on Twitch are going to be quite small. So the simpler the design, the better. It looks like a job of the hut blob right now, but we keep pressing on. All right. This does not look like an adorable baby penguin. We're going to zoom in and fix this. One trick you can do is pull up a duplicate window. This. Or you could do an icon preview. Perfect for checking out what your picture is going to look like on Twitch. Okay, so I have a set of three. I need a set of three. Zoom into here. Let's fix this beak. You can grab this pointer, edit paths by nodes, or hit F2. What I like to do is drag these by the handle, by the nodes. You can also drag it here, but I find I need more control than that, so I tend to just use the nodes. But it's really a matter of personal preference. You need to add any new nodes, just click in between where you need a node to be added. Then click here, the plus sign, to insert new nodes. Just adjust it accordingly. You have the basic outline in. If you need to fill it in with color, zoom back out. Hit here at the bottom where it says fill none. Click on that. Down here, you can pick this, a flat color. You can do a linear gradient, do a radial gradient, mesh gradient, all kinds of stuff. Um, for this, I'm going to try mesh gradient just to see how it's going to go. Obviously, I don't need my penguin to be purple, so I'll just go here. <clears throat> Use the mesh tool to modify the mesh. Well, I need to change the colors. Where's the button for that? That's not exactly what I'm going for. Mm. Right spot on the penguin is on its back. Lots around. Whoops. Spot. Add. Um. Hmm. It's got enough rows. I can try it again. Just more. Now that spot needs to be so let's go. We'll add some columns as well. This part of the head is very dark, also black. Okay. Is 
this area also needs to be black. You know, the top of the head. My outer row here. Maybe a column here. Okay, so next I need to make this part drag it out. The reason I don't use a pure black is because pure black tends to make things appear very flat. Body, need a couple more rows here. I'm just going to fix it and double click where I need a row. Right here needs to go a little darker. Good. Okay. Where You can play with this as much or as little as you want. I'm just choosing to use the gradients because it gives a softer feel, especially for something that's tough. Oh, so curly! Look at curly! Baby penguin. Good thing. Good thing, good baby. Ah. Awesome. Oh, baby. A little bit of darkness over here. It's not another row. A little bit of darkness in my mouth. A little bit of darkness in my face. A little bit of darkness in my face. Darkness is taking me all this. I gave her the commentary there. there like this little darker as well. Let's go with 50. Go in with Susan Swanning. Okay. So. Okay, so. That looks about okay. We have a random white stripe running through, so I need to make that less um, dark. The 10 gray. Darkness in me, all of us see. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good. It's a little wobbly here, but we're okay. Mm Bit of a random white streak there. I ease off on this. Okay, so it looks good in this small window. And it has this teeny teeny size 16 by 16, 24 by 24. We'll look at the 24 by 24. That's closer to what will appear on Twitch. Um, that looks okay. And now I just need to fill in the face. To do that, I'm gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna lock this layer. Go here, add layer, we'll call it face. That's what it is. Above current, add. Grab this tool over here, start drawing in the face. A bit there. Down here, I'm going to fill it with straight white. So just grab a flat color, grab this. Well, I can just go here because I know what the code for white is. It's just six Fs, followed by two more Fs. Ba, 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 ba. And let's take off the stroke. No strokes allowed. I just need to edit this a little bit more to refine it. I look like a baby, baby penguin, right? This little guy is coming into reality. Slowly, slowly but surely. This down. I don't know if I need that. If you need to delete a note, just press backspace and it will delete. Beak is a little too forward, so I'm going to lock the face and go back to layer one. Unlock it so I can work on it. Pull this forward. Okay. That looks more like it. 
This beak here, I just noticed, is actually very white. So I'm going to turn this very bright white. 2.5? Not that. Actually, that. Very white. Or I'm going to drag it in just a tad. Okay. Now he needs his eyes. So walking this layer. Great. Let's go back to layer face. Add layer. Just call it eye. Above current. We'll draw his little eye. The happy little cloud with that eye. A little wide. Lock it there. We'll fill it with. Well, actually, I'm going to break a rule here and just fill it with pure black. So, no stroke, fill flat. We can go with one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two X. <laughs> Looks a little strange. Zoom in and fix this. While keeping an eye on this small space over here. Um, whole eclipse. That was my problem. Okay, so if you hold down control, it'll draw a perfect circle. You make sure the shine is big enough that it will appear in the tiny version. Apparently, very hard to make it appear in the tiny version. So I'm going to take a different route here to make this a mesh. Select it, go back to fill. Uh, we might just do a radial gradient. Whoops, we need to reverse. Uh, so let's reverse it. Is it not letting me reverse it? Grab this. Right. And this will be black. Okay. Up. Okay, now to save the document. Uh Okay, so to save this as a PNG at the Twitch size requirements for Twitch emotes, that'll be 28 by 28, 56 by 56, and 112 by 112. For the subscriber badges, you need a size 18 by 18, 36 by 36, and 72 by 72. But to do that, go File, Export PNG Image. This area will appear on the right. Make sure drawing is selected. Go down here. Type in the width, 28. This will be automatic, or you could set the height to 28. Either way, you need to make sure the ending result is 28 by 28. Export as, I've already set it to babypenguin.png, save. Make sure you click this export button. It won't save until you click this button. Then check it. So here's the little baby penguin on the screen at 28 by 28. If you need to resize it, that's no problem. So I de I'm deciding I can probably get rid of the bottom half of the penguin. Go to image, canvas size, set the height to 28. Make sure this is not linked together otherwise it will scale both of these according to proportion we don't want that so 28 hit tab make sure the part that you don't want is below the cutoff do that for example you'll have cut off his face and we don't want that no Resize. not the face i need that for the ladies override the baby figures. penguin now this is the correct size, and the checkerboard pattern in the background indicate that it is transparent. So just make sure you repeat this for the other required sizes by Twitch. And there you go, you have your subscriber badge or Twitch emote. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. 
I want to thank you so much for watching my first tutorial. Please hit that subscribe button for more to come. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.